Hey, my beautiful soul angels. Welcome back to Reiki Your Path Now. I'm excited about doing this reading today. The energies have been like so inspiring today. At first, when I started off, my energy was low. But then, as I got to going and getting into my vibe, everything started uplifting. Anyways, I am still doing readings. Um, all my information will be below. Please go follow my um, Instagram channel, Reiki Your Path Now, you guys. Follow me. I'll follow you guys back. It's a way to get card readings randomly. I do them over there if I'm not doing them here. I try to give you guys as much energy as I can. I'm still, you know, building my channel, and I'm excited about the support and the clients that I have now. I appreciate you all a trillion times. Um, I'm about to get into the reading today for all the signs, all you beautiful angels out there. This is going to be a reading for November the 29th, 2018, you guys. And um, I hope everybody's been having a blessed week so far. It is Monday and, um, not Monday, <laughs> see, it's Wednesday and the week end is already approaching. I tell you, every week. I stop keeping up with time. I just stop keeping up with time because I tell you to drive one crazy if you keep focusing on it all the time, you know. So that's why I just try to just let the day flow by, set a, a mantra in the mornings, do my reke in the mornings, get my vibe going as much as I can, you know. These cars are flying out. Just trying to get the shuffling going so I can get into you guys' reading and what messages that it have. I ask the spirit guides and angels and the ancestors to please help me be able to give a positive reading that will resonate to everyone who needs to hear it. I hope it gives you guys some confirmation. I hope it gives you guys some motivation and some inspiration. This is what I'm here for, to do it all, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Thanksgiving was beautiful. I ate a delicious dinner. And my sisters, you know, it was my first time being able to eat a great dinner without being in pain after the sickness that I had experienced. Whew. Was I happy for that? I was very thankful. And it's like, bam, here come Christmas, you know. Holidays just don't stop. They stay long. You want to spend some money, you got Black Friday. You got this and that, that, and this and that, that, that. Anyways, you guys, let's get into the reading. I always use my book for the insight as well as what I am getting in the messages. The first card I pulled today is the Six of Coins. Six of Coins. Oh my gosh, this is like give me, give me, give me energy, you know. You've been sitting here just wishing on a well, hoping things manifest for you. You've been sitting there like, man, I keep going through these obstacles and I don't know when something is going to happen for me. It's like you don't want to beg nobody. You don't want to ask nobody for help. But it's like you're getting to that point. It's like, you know, you're just like, man, I really need this help. If you can give me this boost, it'll really help me be able to push forward. And I promise you I'll be able to pay you back. I just need somebody to help me push forward. I done gave it all I got. I done invested all my money and my time in this. I just need you to help me. Help me get through this last little part. Please help me. Because the energy is what is going on. But I ain't just telling me right now. Hmm. Keep your faith. Keep your faith. Be patient. Things are going to happen for you. You just have to know this. You have to trust in yourself. You have your angels here to help you. It's with this is this they was just saying, look back at this card. You have angels. Those pinnacles are your angels. They are here to help and provide for you and see you through. You just gotta call on them, is what they're telling you. You have to ask for guidance and call on them. They're gonna be there to help you. This is what they're here for. They wanna help you. That's the beautiful thing about angels, you know. <laughs> help. You're not out here alone, is what they're saying. Let's see what the book says about the six of coins, you guys. The six of coins. Coins, coins, coins. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. It's a card of giving, also receiving. Appreciation, time to reap rewards. Your hard work is done. 
Thanksgiving. You see how I was just saying? I had a great Thanksgiving. And then this card pulls off around and say, Thanksgiving, guys. You got to be thankful and giving too when you get these blessings that are coming in to you. You may receive unexpected moolah. Yes, who don't like unexpected moolah? I love unexpected moolah. A time of economic gains approaching. If you hand, if your hand is out to give, your other hand will receive. Give, receive. Give, receive. And that's how you get balanced, you guys. The angels are saying, once I give you these blessings from this universe, I want you to be able to give and receive. Not just, can I receive? I know that's what your passion is, to be able to help people. And be able to, you know, your family, you know, they need help. You got to just keep a structure there. When this money comes to you, you got to know what to do with it. You got to know how to make that money keep expanding. You know that generational wealth expansion is what you got to do, guys. This is a beautiful card right here. The Regents doing our families already. Justice. This is, this is what I pulled next. Justice. Justice. The number 11. Man, I just got through saying balance. You see how he's balancing? That means the representation of give and receive give and receive you know you've been going through a lot and you have been given it's not saying that you haven't been given you definitely have been given and um that's why you're about to get this justice that you've been needing you you felt like giving up recently and you was like man ain't nothing going right but it is you know and that's what the angels are saying hmm. They said make sure you catch up all your important bills when this money comes. Don't lose insight on what you really got to do because it all can vanish is what I'm getting from the angels. So make sure you do everything strategically and what is right with this money. Don't let nobody come in and try to control you or throw you off on what you know the necessary things and people that you promised to pay and everything. Make sure you get those things and everything like that squared off first when you get this money is what the message is saying hold on let me look in the book so i can get some more insight on this major arcana which is justice hmm. balance that's all i've been saying you guys balance 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 we need balance hold on one second I got to sip my water. It's like I've been having to drink water. Like, to stay hydrated like a mug. Mm -hmm. Tell you, girl, this medicine. Justice. Balance decisions based on one's character. Legal issue, fairness, and integrity. A decision will be made. Justice will be served. You must look at all the information before a decision is reached. You may face legal action. It is time that the debts will be paid. Exactly what the angels was giving me the message off to pay all your debts first. And then do what you plan on to do with the rest of it. Make sure they say invest. Invest in property is what I'm getting. You've been looking at some property. It's time for you to be able to do that and invest in some property. So that couple of properties is what I'm saying. You're going to be able to start that off. You're going to have your own situation where that's where you live. And then you're going to have properties that you're going to be investing in and renting out to people. The angels say make sure it's affordable though. Because once you're not trying to be greedy, that's when your blessings are going to keep pouring in. Let's see what the next card I pulled. The, another coin card for you guys. The four of coins. You don't have to be selfish when you get this money and try to hide it, you know. No, maybe, you know, it's saying maybe protect yourself. That's that's what I'm getting. Protect your wealth is what I'm hearing. When you get this blessings coming in, protect them, you guys, because it's going to be people try to come in and want the money. But if you know in your heart and your soul and it's telling you, this is what I need to do, do it. Listen to your intuition is strong right now. Listen to what your inner self is telling you. And you're going to be able to do the right thing. You know, you ain't going to have to feel like, I got to be selfish to protect this and it's mine. Because, listen to your intuition. You're going to know who and where 
and why not to deal with people and who to deal with. Don't ignore people that you know are doing things that are like positive and you know if you just gave them a little boost that they'll be able to get far. A lot of people suffer from that. It's okay to help somebody that you see is really about their business and putting that grind and that time in, you know. Help them because they're going to help you double. You feel me? Because they're in the right mind state. Let's see what this four of coins is telling us. Mm, mm, I am loving this reading so far, you guys. I really am. Thank you, Angels, for giving us such a beautiful reading today. In the case of need to be territorial, materialistic, sometimes a dispute over a real or probate. Mm, mm, mm. A person who may want too much is indicated. A person who indulges himself or herself but barely anyone else. Don't be that person. I know people are going to start coming in wanting to try to say, can you do this and do that? Help them. Help who you know you should help. Don't start getting egotistical and brand new because you got this money. Like I said, do what's right is what the angels are saying. You got to make the initiative is the message that I said. Make the initiative to be able to help people who really need it and invest so this money can keep expanding so your kids and your grandkids can have wealth. This is what that is. Don't get this money and be selfish. Like that's the worst thing you could possibly do, I promise you. This is what the angels are saying. You see the king of staffs is the next card I pulled. King of staff, you see how he's heading for ship. He's gliding. He's standing up there with confidence. His ship finally coming. Your ship is coming in. You're about to get ready to receive some abundance that you've been longfully seeking. It's coming for you. I promise you. This is like all in these readings, you know. Let's see what the king of staff saying. It says you got to remain confident too. Your angels say you have to remain confident. You lost your confidence a little bit when you were going through the struggle and stuff and your pride a little bit. Clean yourself up, they said. Pamper yourself. Make sure you go make yourself feel good so you can be able to think and function straight when you get this windfall of money that's coming in. King of staffs. The, I said king, but it's the knight of staffs. Hold on, I have somebody knocking at the door. Let's see who this is. I'm back, you guys. Um, it's, I'm back. Night of staffs. I'm sorry. You may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Now's a good time to change where you live. You want to leave a situation? Leave now. It's going to take a new environment, like I said. Because, you know, when you get this blessing, it's going to be, like I said, a lot of people with their hands out. But just know that you're going to be okay. Know that this is your time to get the abundance and the blessings that you deserve and do what's right that's all the angels keep saying do what's right i really appreciate you guys for chiming into my channel i really hope this message inspired you and that you take this message and reshare it with the world thank you for tuning in to reiki your path now please like subscribe and share and don't be afraid to request a reading and i do take donations and everything as well have a great week, you guys. I'll be back soon. Love, peace, and soul.